Good morning, everyone. Hopefully we'll have just a little more quiet here in just a second or two. Thank you so much for coming. Governor McMaster, Secretary Lightsey, Senator Setzler, Mike Gula, Ryan McLaurin from UPS, and all of you for joining us this morning. This is an exciting day, in my humble opinion, for Columbia, South Carolina. We had the biggest plane, I think, in the world land here an uh, hour or so ago and was unloaded in less than an hour and a half or two. So none of this would have been possible, so shameless plug to my left, without UPS. I'm wearing a pen to proudly say that we are partners with UPS Healthcare, and they made this happen. We never, two weeks ago, didn't believe we'd be able to get a plane of this size full of our first line of equipment um, into CAE. And so Mike Gula, Customs, everybody who worked with us to make this happen, this is a big deal. I'm really, really, really proud. And um, hopefully we, uh, we had Zach out here earlier this morning. We'll have a lot of footage. I have to say thank you, first of all, to my Korean family. They are here in um, South Carolina helping us get the plant up and running. We announced that Nephron Nitrile Glove Plant would be up and running uh, last July. So here we are 13 months later, and I will show you even a cool nephron nitro box. My partner, John Singerling, and his family are joining us. John, you want to stand up? Partner? <laughs> and so we've been working really, really hard for the last 13 months to make this a reality. I haven't confirmed the numbers, but I believe there have been something like 19 announcements since the pandemic, and I believe that we'll be the first glove plant up and running, not only in America, but on the East Coast and specifically in Columbia, South Carolina, or I should say West Columbia. So I want to thank Lexington County Council and all those that have helped us um, in this journey. I want to say thank you to um, USC and to all of the folks that have helped us there. I really need to thank the banks because John and I couldn't do this. John, Bill, and I couldn't do this without the bankers. So thank you. A couple of you guys are here. Um, now, I'm going to just because we're trying to make this brief and it's not all that cool out here. I want to turn this over to um, Governor McMaster who has so kindly joined us today. Thanks, SC Bio too. Oh wait, and my representative, Paula Calhoun. All right, go ahead. there she is. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lou. I, I will be brief. This, this reminds me, y'all, everybody saw the movie, the, the Blues Brothers, where they keep talking about getting the band back together. Well, here we are again, getting the band back together. <laughs> Uh, it just uh, it demonstrates what a great team we have. And when we communicate, collaborate, and cooperate, I think we can really do, do anything. We all know we all related to each other. It seems like cousins all over the place. And we work together and don't have the strife and the problems that they have in a lot of other places. And we do like to work, and that's why we kept ourselves open during the pandemic instead of closing down like others did. And I need to say Lee, Lou was a part of that team. It seems like Lou and Bill are parts of just about every, every team we put together. Lou was on the Accelerate SC where we made a lot of those decisions. And Lou's decision to do this, that is to bring pharmaceuticals back to, back to the, this state, back to the country, is very important. It's a dangerous world. And the supply chain was disrupted, of course, by the pandemic. Supply chain can be disrupted by a lot of other things as well. Look at what's going on in Ukraine. I've, there's some supply chains that are disrupted there. But it is a dangerous world, and having the capacity and the ability to do these important things, particularly with pharmaceuticals, things that keep people well, alive, healthy, and happy in our state is enormously important. So you may recall I issued an executive order back in April of 2021 uh, directing the Department of Commerce. Secretary Lightsey is here to concentrate on the opportunities to bring more pharmaceuticals, more life science industries, companies into our state. And that's happening right now as we speak. And in order to support that, what do we have to do? We have to educate the, the children. So we've, we've started at the beginning. We've got 4K is opened up. No child be deprived of a four-year kindergarten in South Carolina for lack of money. We got the best technical college system in the world. We've provided $25 million for our certificates uh, and 
so scholarships for those that want to go to our, one of our 16 great technical colleges that can produce the kind of workers that anybody needs in South Carolina. So we do have a great, great team. Uh, and as Ronald Reagan used to say, uh, uh, the best is yet to come, and it is truly a fact here in our wonderful, unique state of South Carolina. So thank you. Thank you. Secretary Leitze, would you like to come up and say a few words? Thank you very much, Lou. Uh, I'll be very brief as well, but I just want to reiterate a, a few of the things that uh, the governor mentioned. Uh, it is, and, and as Lou mentioned, this was actually uh, the first announcement that occurred, I think, after I was confirmed. So it is very exciting, Lou, to be here to see uh, that announcement begin to take shape. Uh, it is it's really a, a, an incredible that journey that we've been on uh, about the last a little bit over a year. To think about a year ago, a little bit over a year ago, this was announced, and now here today, uh, we're seeing this uh, incredible plane deliver, deliver this machinery for the first line. Uh, as the governor mentioned, uh, we discovered over the time of the global pandemic uh, just how vulnerable the United States was and how vulnerable our supply chain was. So it's efforts like this, uh, bringing, bringing our capacity to produce uh, personal protective equipment back to the United States and back to South Carolina they're going to help us uh, in the future, and this is uh, this is something that is critical uh, to our state and critical to our country. So I just want to congratulate Lou and congratulate Bill. This is an incredible uh, feat. We are so proud to have you as part of our community here in Lexington and in South Carolina. Thank you so much. Okay, now I'd like to introduce my senator, Senator Setzler. Thank you very much, Lou, and congratulations on a tremendous day today. On behalf of the uh, Lexington County delegation, uh, Representative Caskey and myself who represent this particular area, Lexington County Councils who, who are here, uh, our city governments, thank you to Lou and Bill Kennedy for what you do, for the investment that you have made in our community. You realize that Lexington County is the most friendly governmental environment to business in South Carolina and across this country. You have made a total commitment to our community. We appreciate you, what you've done. We appreciate your executive team, your employees, your partners, CAE, UPS, and all that have made this day possible. And we stand ready to move forward with you in the next announcement. Lou, join me in thanking Lou and Bill Kennedy and Nephron. So many of you don't know this, but Mike Gula made this possible for CAE. He arrived back in Columbia at 5 a.m., so I told him just stay awake through this little announcement. So Mike, come on up and say something. Thanks, Lou, and thanks, Bill, for everything that you guys do with Nephron and what you do to the community, for the community. On behalf of the Columbia Metropolitan Airport and the Richland-Lexington Airport District Commission, I'm Mike Gula. I'm the executive director here. So this noteworthy announcement is not only a positive step forward for the entire Midlands region, it will also significantly enhance and expand the capabilities of Columbia Metropolitan's airport's overall cargo operations. Currently, cargo operations uh, here at CAE is the largest within the state, and we're up year to date this year uh, by 14%, which is impressive, but we're gonna refuse to settle. We're always exploring new innovative ways to grow our cargo systems, processes, and our overall operations. And with announcements like this, we feel like we're well on the way. This partnership with Nephron Pharmaceuticals further shows the great importance and the need for true unifying community support. We want to thank Nephron and Lou Kennedy for always supporting CAE. Like Ms. Kennedy, we encourage everyone here today and within the entire community to utilize this airport. May it be for business, leisure, military, or cargo. As you can see, there's a profound impact when you fly local. Thank you. So I'll make my next remark to uh, Sheriff Kuhn. He wants you to fly fast in the sky, but not on the streets, right? and I'm trying to take my own advice, okay? 
Um, anyway, I just want to thank um, UPS again for making this possible. This really snarky man came into our office about two weeks ago and said, you just can't fly a plane any old where. And I said, back in the day, Strom Thurmond put the longest runway in South Carolina at CAE. Why can't we use it? Why do we have to go to Chicago and other places? And so we started calling around and UPS and Mike Gula and Customs and the FAA all came together so we could make this a really historic day. And I am grateful that you've all joined us. I gotta say, we, our other partner came in. I don't know what happened to him, but Coke Man is here. Oh, there he is in the back corner. Stand up, Coke. He's our other partner. And I'd just like to say, again, thanks a million. This is the beginning of a whole lot of these things, hopefully shipping right out of this airport and on to others and customers across the country and beyond. So. Thank you all. I think the, um, if the press has any questions or wants to ask anything, we'll take those questions now. And otherwise, I think we have to get the governor and Secretary Lightsey to Charleston ASAP. So any questions? Yes. Yes, we did experience quite a few supply chain issues. We also made the shift once the um, borders of Korea opened up to be able to get our equipment in fr directly from Korea and it's faster and more automated. But the only impediment we have is literally our own neighbors right here in Casey. They're not real clear about wanting us to grow in the um, Saxon Gotha Park because of water issues, but we hope we're gonna overcome those. And other than that, though, we should be open and making some gloves, what, in a, like a month or two, guys? Maybe? <laughs> I'm looking at the um, Koreans over here. I keep pushing them to go from November to October to September. We'll see. Anyway, um, but other than that, it's all been smooth sailing. Yes. Yes. Two and a half billion per year. Yes. And I will tell you that our partner um, in Korea is Hyun Sun, and the owner is here sitting right in front of you. He has the lowest defect rate of any other glove plant in Korea, so we are glad to have partnered with him because of the high quality. I mean, all of us experienced those gloves that, during the pandemic that just broke. Well, we, we, have, we have good gloves coming, good quality gloves. And we've decided we're going to make this our own nephron nitrile blue. This is going to be the cool color that our gloves are going to be. So anyway, anything else? Well, we looked at masks early on, and it's just not, the be it's not a good business model. We thought about gloves because at the height of the pandemic, Nephron was paying $30 for a box of these. And pre-pandemic, that might have been 3 or $4. So we knew that um, there was a big need, and we wanted to, I mean, I got really swept up in the whole God bless America thing after the pandemic, and I said, we put in, and the governor helped us with this, the um, molecular biology lab to help with testing and take some um, stress off the hospitals. And then uh, John Singerling said to me, what about nephron nitrile? Doesn't that sound catchy? And somehow, in a weak moment, I said, you know what, that sounds pretty good. Next thing you know, we're in the nitrile glove business. So it was really just our effort to be part of helping the supply chain. Anything else? Well, the one thing I love about South Korea is they work as fast as I do, which is a big, tall order. And so I, um, we've, we're hoping to have this first line that all of the equipment arrived this morning up and, and hopefully operation sometime next month. Maybe not the final gloves, but at least in operation. And the next thing, what I'd like to do, and UPS has agreed to help me, is let's see if we can get the best possible rates on air travel, get lines two and three in so we can make it quicker, and four through 10 will come through um, the port of Charleston with my friend Barbara Melvin. This is her, I think, eighth week as the portmaster. So I think it's a great um, combination 
of South Carolinians, as the governor said, working as a team between CAE and the port, and um, then putting this right here in West Columbia. It's just an honor for me because you know this, but I grew up within about five miles from here um, when my father was first transferred here. So it's a pleasure to me to be in this area. Anybody else? Okay, with that, we uh, felt like it was an all-American day. Everybody take an apple pie on your way out the door. And um, thank you so much for being here. Big round of applause to my husband who puts up with me.